for relaxing and Parkland has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's an honor to stand in this house today, albeit with a heavy heart, to remember the four RCMP officers that lost their lives in the line of duty 15 years ago today. It was a dark day in, in uh, our community, and I remember. Constables Peter Scheiman, Anthony Gordon, Leander, Leo Johnson, and Brock Morrill were all killed during an investigation into a marijuana grow up in Marathorpe, a tragedy that will not soon be forgotten. Their loss was felt by their communities, our province, our nation, but most of all, it was felt by their families. Four lives that can never be replaced. Perhaps the best way we can rem remember them is to remember who they were and what they loved. The following is from the Fallen Four website that honours these officers. Constable Peter Schreiman was born in Patrol, Ontario. He earned a Bachelor Degree of Arts, loved the skydive and fell in love with the RCMP. After he went on uh, ride-alongs with other members. Constable Anthony Gordon was born in Edmonton, Alberta, raised in Red Deer, Alberta, and joined the force there. The seed to be a Mountie was planted in grade one when a member of the force visited his school. And that was his goal ever since. Gordon loved the outdoors, he loved to fish, and he loved to snowmobile. Constable Leon Johnston was from Owl River, Alberta, joined uh, the RCMP with his brother Lee. He and his brother were ace marksmen and received their crown pistols and crown rifle badges a year prior to the tragedy. He's fondly remembered as having special connection with the Alexis First Nations Reserve. Constable Brock Morrill had served less than three weeks before he lost his life. He was born in Outlook, raised in Red Deer. He came from a family to love music. He sang, composed music, and played guitar. Although I never met these officers personally, I did have a chance to meet their friends and family at the Anthony Gordon Annual Golf Tournament. They are remembered and they're missed. I offer my renewed condolences to the families, these outstanding officers. Words can never suffice. But our thoughts and prayers are with you today. They were taken from us too soon. Thank you.